Hello and welcome to Star Academy. Our today's topic is lesson plan for circulatory system. Watch this video till the end and subscribe this channel. Here is the main part of circulatory system, the heart, which is labeled here in front of you. So dear viewers, here is the instructional objectives, aviates and teaching methods and strategies. Instructional objectives means what are the expected outcomes, what you want from your students to learn and at the end of lesson you have to judge whether you are successful in achieving your instructional objective or not. Here we have some aviates, marker, textbook whiteboard, duster, pictures, model, charts, you can have some more and teaching method and strategies. So my method is lecturer and demonstration method plus the grouping. Now first of all you have steps, then you have matter and method and then whiteboard summary means what you will write on whiteboard. This is important section because for the attraction of intentions of students. Then we have announcement of the topic. You have to ask some questions and on the basis of these questions you will announce your topic and then write the topic on whiteboard. Here is the presentation that how you will start your presentation. So after announcing your topic you will start your presentation. Again here are steps, metro and method, and whiteboard summary. So, here some major parts of the circulatory system and write them on whiteboard. And after this, we will draw the diagram on whiteboard. So, here is the diagram of uh, heart. So, you can draw it on the whiteboard and can color its different parts to show the difference between its parts. You can label them and then you can ask your students to identify. Here is another diagram for the circulatory system in human body. Here is a heart and then veins and arteries. Now we have activity and our activity is that the student will identify different parts of circulatory systems using models. So you can uh, divide your students into different groups and your students uh, can identify parts of circulatory system by using these models. Then explanation of important parts like heart, arteries veins etc and mention important points on the whiteboard. After completing here is the summary that uh, how you will summarize your lesson. You can summarize it uh, by highlighting important points and repeating them and then some questions at the end to evaluate the students what they have learned. This is important because you will know how better you have delivered your lecture and what your students have gained from this lecture. So always ask questions at the end of your class and then homework or the task for the students and then departure from the classroom. After this, here is a self-reflection for you. Some questions you can ask yourself at the end of your uh, lesson and you can answer them as well. So if there is any problem you face, then you can mention. If not, that's very good.
so thanks for watching today's video and please subscribe and share this video with your friends goodbye